My question is how to reconcile with no opposite and the healthy drive towards change incarnated in the rebel in me. Hmm. <laughs> rebel in you, but not having opposite. I like it. I believe in this, being rebel, but not having enemy. Being rebel, but not having opposite. When we rebel, unconsciously, we like to put people there. Listen carefully. We want rebel against someone. We create opposite. When I say no opposite, I say, don't put the people there. Because everyone is in the same boat. Everyone is victim. Whether rich or poor, both are the victim of the same thing. Abuser and one good who got abused. Both are the victim. Not only one who got abused, but also one who abused, also victim of the same situation. Surpresser and one who got, you know, surprised. Both are the, both are victim. We may say, no, only one is the victim. One side is the victim. No. The both are the victim. We no need to put people as opposite. Because whoever standing in front of you, also you only. We are all victim of our belief systems, our conditions. So, rebel against the conditions, not against the person. You must be able to, you know, separate this. Able to disagree with the condition, but at the same time, able to love the person unconditionally. Tricky thing, isn't it? We don't agree with the conditions, but nothing personal. In the society, we can see the fight between people. In the world, we can see fight between countries, between religions. But is it possible for us to separate us from this? That we, as a human species, we both are victim of our belief system. <laughs> it's not about which one is good, which condition is good. You know, when I claim my conditions are better and the truth, and yours is, you know, Lesser, your condition, your identity is inferior, my identity is superior. 
instead of identifying like that, we can also identify differently. You are conditioned as inferior, I am conditioned as superior. We both are conditioned, see? You, you got it? We both are the victim. Someone made us to believe that you are lesser than me, I am above you. I am also a victim and you are also a victim. So we both can rebel against the conditions instead of we rebel against each other. See? So when we say being rebel, we should not stop love the person. <laughs> not having opposite. Not having an enemy. But when you say, first of all, I want, I am rebel in the sense, it start within me. This rebel start within me. Rebel inside of me against the conditions which is imposed on me. This imposition, I don't have to identify anyone as responsible. Because there's no any particular person I can say, this person imposed this on me. No. I'm culturally, traditionally, religiously, thousands and thousands of years. When I say me, this me is created not instantly. I'm not talking about 50 years of, n you know, nursery. No. Thousands of years behind me made this me now. My brain is not just this. The whole human experience is part of my brain, the way my brain function, the way I understand this life, the way your brain understand this life. Our both brain are connected with one human understanding. This, the, the whole brain And the rebel is taking place within us first. Or we may say, this is me and this is not me. And I create opposite. Then I project what is not me on someone else and fight against what is me and what is not me different consciousness. Consciously or unconsciously, we are all part of different consciousness. And this different consciousness bring different perceptions. Then we differ there. And that is healthy. but not projecting the person or particular people as opposite. That opposition is unhealthy. Do you understand? Yeah. I, long time back, I told to a person, I love you so much, but not necessarily you are conditioned. He said, Guruji, you must love unconditionally. Yes, 
I unconditionally love you. I unconditionally disagree with those conditions. <laughs> it's a different. I can love you the way I love myself. Because in this so-called myself, you are part of, you know. I'm not separating you and me as a two different. This is totally different story. But how we are all conditioned is a different story. One must be able to, you know, one must have the ability to separate this, that we don't have to blame people, we don't have to reject people, we don't have to deny people, because it is no one's fault. This is how we are all raised. This is what happened to the whole human history whole humanity, thousands and thousands of years, what happened to us. And in this, we are all together. And we disagree with what happened to us. See? Are you able to follow? We disagree with culturally or historically what happened to us. But we don't have to maintain disagreement between us. If you are able to understand this, then this understanding is the foundation for the peace. We can unite and we can look back what happened to us. Then we can go beyond those conditions. Otherwise, I fight against the person whom I know. Unfortunately, he is also victim. <laughs> so, being a rebel, but not having opposite, not having enemy. <laughs> 